Hello. Today I am all snuggly at home. I'm going to show you how to make your Facebook page banner a video. So there's probably lots of different ways you can do it. You could obviously um, take video content of you doing or saying something or create it in a lot of ways. But this is just one way that you can do it um, that I did it and I'm going to show you how to do it now. So I guess first of all, I'll show you the actual video that I created. Oh, it's just part way through. Here we go. So here it is. Maybe you can see it. It's my face. This is my Facebook page and it's got all the usual things. But now my banner is this. So we watch it through for a second. There's one picture, another picture. Um, so it flicks through a few different slides and you can obviously have complete creative license with what your video looks like. It doesn't have to be little clips like this, but this was a really nice, easy way to do it that I thought I'd share with you. And basically, any video that you want to use, you're just going to click Change Cover, and you can either choose from a video that you've already uploaded to Facebook, which I recommend, or you can choose to upload a photo or video. I didn't have much luck with that. Um, so I reckon upload it first just as a video and then choose it. Um, but we won't do that now because first things first. So first things first, uh, this tutorial is probably more for Mac users because I used iMovie to make the video. Um, the dimensions that you need um, are 820 by 312. So I use Canva, www.canva.com. Um, so when you land on the initial page of Canva, there's usually a few options. There's loads of your posts that you've created before, if you've created any. Um, and you can use custom dimensions. So that's where you type in 820 by 312 and click design. Um, let's do that just for the sake of the argument. And then it gives you the template that is the right size uh, for the header which is very schmancy. So now obviously you can put whatever you want here. You know, you can, if you're familiar with Canva, then you'll know you can upload images, you can drag images over, you can get different elements like shapes or um, illustrations or um, what other cool stuff. Uh, the lines are pretty funky. There's some really nice lines, like I'm a huge fan of this Chevron business, you can turn them around. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to publish this, right, because this is crazy. It's like something that my kids made. But you can get your image. This is what I did for mine. I just created these slides. I've got, like, my logo to start, then pictures of me and the things that I do, um, the different things you can do with me, and then a little call to action, book a free 15-minute chat now. And so that correlates with like my book now button. So when you'll see when it comes to it, the arrow points down to the book now button. So, you know, you could do something like that. You can totally steal my idea. I'm fine with that. And then what I did was I went over to iMovie. So I'll just have to screen share my iMovie. Now iMovie, I reckon is really easy to use. Um, I just, click this button here and then I just choose the files. So if, like when they come from Canva, oh yeah, I better back, oh no, no. You know when you make images and then you download them. So if you're a Mac user, they come into your downloads folder and, um, and then you just find them. Here they are, I have to remember what I called it, right? And then the files are here. It shows you when you click on them what they are. So I just shift, click, click, click. Um, highlight them all, click import selected, and then they're up here, and then you can just drag them in um, and do whatever you like. Then I also found the music. Oh, you didn't hear the fantastic music. Um, it's pretty daggy, but um, under audio, under sound effects, there's lots of different things. So there's like ambient sounds, jingles, theme music, all kinds of different stuff. I just chose something. Pretty simple. Um, I also had to shrink because when I brought each image down, it wanted to look for eight seconds, which for me, eight seconds was like too long to be looking at that thing. And also I didn't want it to scroll across the image like that because I knew that the dimensions of my images, um, 
these images are the right size for the header. So then for each of them, I had to go in and I had to turn it because it was on Ken Burns. See, like this one is on Ken Burns, which means it's going to, um, it's going to slide from one spot to another, right? Which is like a cool feature and everything. And sometimes you want that. But in this case, I want to display the whole image. So I just said fit. And that just puts a little black and a black at either top and bottom of the image. Um, I'm actually going to delete that one because I don't need it. So I've done that. I've shortened them all. And to do that, I just click on it and then that little slider comes. And so I made it so that it's exactly the same length as my, my sound clip. Then you just click file, share as a file and then, you know, change the name of it. And I always save mine to the desktop so they're nice and easy to find. Um, and then there it is on my desktop. And when I go to upload it to Facebook, it's just easy to find. Um, so like I said, then I simply um, clicked that button called, let's find it now, we're in Canva. Clicked the button that's change cover. I chose choose from videos because I'd upload it as a video. And then I had to reposition it, right? Because it's got the black and white, the black at the top and bottom. So then I just had to like be like a ninja finger skills and reposition it and then publish it. And like you just heard, that was my fantastic theme music that I chose. Um, you know, you it, when people land, it's silent and then they can turn the sound up as much as they like. So, um, yeah, there you go. You can do that. That's a thing you can do. I think it's quite a cool feature. I would just like think about it because it's going to draw a lot of attention there. So I would be directing people. So making a call to action, informing people, um, if you're a product based, you could show your latest products. You could make a really cool clip. Um, you could deliver some content there and tell people something or teach them or give them some information right away. Um, you could use it in loads of different ways. So I hope this was helpful and I'll see you really soon. Have a great day. Bye.